Hello, and welcome to the My Cultural Bias infographic. Have you ever thought the society you were born into is your niche, where most of the knowledge you possess has been passed on to you? The world is made up of different social niches, where individuals recognize each other, speak the same language, eat the same food, and feel safe. But what happens when you come into contact with someone who is born into a different niche? In our social niche, we tend to build up ideas or prejudgments of what is right or wrong. Growing up, when we step out of our safe place and meet someone who has political or religious ideas different from our own, it is sometimes as if we have already decided our opinion beforehand. This is why we are said to be subject to prejudice, because it tends to overpower us, to dominate us, without allowing us to deeper reflect. This is known as ethnocentrism, and it means to view and judge others' worlds by holding our own cultural point of view as the ideal centre and reference point of analysis. A fear of the unknown is natural. Despite our mental and cultural efforts, when our brain perceives what is around it, it tends to naturally construct categories, even when it is not aware of what it is doing. All characteristics such as skin colour, sexual orientation, religious belief, trigger the process of categorization. Unfortunately, this can sometimes be the basis for the formation of stereotypes and prejudice. A fear of difference can also result in rejecting people who are perceived as different. For example, members of social, religious or ethnic groups or people with different political or sexual orientations to our own. Intolerance towards these differences can manifest itself in a wide range of actions, from exclusion through hate speech to physical violence. Racism, xenophobia and anti-Semitism are forms of intolerance and discrimination against cultural groups who are different to our own. Addressing your cultural bias can result in interactions that promote acceptance and equality. Education for tolerance and dialogue are key factors in overcoming intolerance, which is a natural reaction to diversity. Education can develop flexibility and the understanding of diversity and in turn counteract the negative effects associated with intolerance. Think about how society is like a cultural shell and sometimes we have to challenge our perspectives and open up to the richness of diversity. Well done! Now that you understand the meaning of cultural bias, we invite you to delve into this topic through the CQ Plus learning path.